everybody welcome back to the Firefly Studio I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers and uh, hello to all you guys who have been with me for a while uh, sorry it's been a little while since I've been on here you know life life just has taken over again so um, I've got some happy mail to share with you all today and I want to start with you guys all know Susanna, um, she's here on uh, YouTube, and Susanna has made the most beautiful Happy Mail package for me. I love it, and I'm just amazed <laughs> that that made it through the postal system, Susanna, but it did. It was all intact, and that's come from Australia. Love that stamp. I'll be... I'll be saving this. I love this. So Susanna was so sweet to send these vintage postcards. Aren't they just gorgeous? And they, she knows this is my color. Isn't that a beautiful one? Susanna, these are going to go into my journal. Um, I absolutely love those. I'm not parting with them. <laughs> I know that sounds a little bit stingy. <laughs> but she sent a nice little note for me. She's a sweetie. Love that tag. She knows I love bees. So that is gorgeous. That's going to be mine as well. And look at this beautiful napkin. That is unique because I don't have anything. Oh, look at that. I found my family in a book. Isn't that sweet? So I can do some decoupage with that. Love it. Absolutely love it. That is so true. We... We all love our books, don't we? So thank you so much, Susanna, for that. I really appreciate all the effort that you went through to get that to me. Okay, and the next one comes all the way from Hawaii. And this is my kind friend, Haley. Um, Haley sent me a beautiful letter. She... Um, entered my friendship journal challenge back in, um, gosh, I can't believe that was the beginning of this year, but it was, and I loved, she took the time and wrote a really nice letter about herself, and look at this happy mail, I cannot believe this, so this is all come, I don't know if I said, this is all come from Hawaii, and I absolutely love it, she's made some handmade paper, and she did this beautiful little bundle here. And Haley really loves to recycle, which is great. Um, I, I love that. It, it just, to me, this means so much more, you know, than, than bought things. Look at that. She's made that. And then it's even got little sayings within the paper. Haley, this is beautiful handmade paper. I have not attempted this process yet. Look at that. Just beautiful. Those are going to be... And look at that. she done some marbling. Yet, you know, this is another process I haven't had time to experiment with. But those are beautiful. And I love the fact these are really soft. Because a lot of the marbled papers that I've seen can be really dark um, colors. But these are beautiful pastels. Look at that one. Haley, they're gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Gosh, she's so good at that. It does look like a really fun technique. I just have not um, <clears throat> had the time to try it. That one's beautiful. Really pretty papers. It must have taken ages to do these. Oh, look at that. I love the lime with the <clears throat> lavender. That's so pretty. Yeah, it must have taken her ages to do. That's a pretty one, too. Look at that. Oh, I love that one. It's got, like, some corals and yellows. It, I don't know, it just reminds me of, like, um, Utah. For some reason, <laughs> that's what I imagine. <laughs> that's a beautiful one. That I could totally see that in a nature 
nature journal. Gosh, she's given me so many. Haley, thank you. This is really, really thoughtful. Oh, that's a beautiful piece as well. These are dyed papers. Oh, I love those shades of uh, purple. And that one is beautiful. Gosh, Haley, you've spoiled me with the papers. Absolutely spoiled me here with papers. So I'll sit that over. And she's just done such a nice little mix here for me. Look at these. Just all kinds of different textures, which is so nice because you know how I love the embossed, and I don't have any of these embossing folders. That one's beautiful. Little roses. Love it. Gosh, these are so pretty. Yeah, I love that because um, it's nice to get a little sample. Look at that one. It's got a beautiful bird. Just gorgeous. <laughs> Yes, um, she probably doesn't realize this, but it's not really easy to get my hands on um, the paint swatches here. So this is great, and I love those colors. So I can definitely make use of those, Haley. Thank you. Oh, look at this. Now she's chosen some bee journal pages for me, and I love the color of those tags. She she knows she knows I love the bees. Look at that. Those are gorgeous. Wow, look at that. She's embossed. She's embossed each of these pages. I love that. That's nice. I don't have that. Um, embossing folder either and look at she's coordinated all of these absolutely gorgeous and the beekeepers autumn book pages beekeepers winter the spring oh I love it Haley love that okay now that's got me fired up I've got to do another bee journal because it's actually been a little while um, since I've made one you know, I was making quite a few of those, and then I just kind of got away from them, but I must get back. So we've got another little bag of various things. Ah, oh, I like this. Now she's made this tag, and it's just offcuts of different colored papers. That's really pretty. Yeah, I like that. That's a great idea because we've always got those size pieces left over. Look at the dyeing on those. That is just beautiful. It's like a tie-dye, isn't it? Like the tie-dye uh, tie um, t-shirts. Yeah, she is very good with her um, the dyes and things. French and English dictionary pages and then that look at that some nice papers there so she's giving me a good stack of those and she probably didn't know this but I was in need of the index cards so those are going to go into <laughs> actually I'm going to be using those um, in my next tutorial I've got planned for um, my Patreon channel, so I am excited about that. I'm just going to do, I'm going to do some altered um, index cards. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. This is a faux leather journal. And she's either use glossy accents or the dazzling diamonds and look at that little bit of lavender. That's beautiful. She's got the garden quote. And look at here. Oh, it's so pretty, Haley. Love these. Look at that tiny little envelope. That is so sweet. Look at that little 
envelope that she's pinned. I love that paper clip. She must have made that. That's gorgeous. Got a little, little card I can write on in there, and I love that envelope. And that's out of a herb book page. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Haley, that was just so thoughtful. Really thoughtful. Herb, vintage herb book page. Some stenciling. Oops. Another little handmade journal card. Beautiful, beautiful image. And then another tag, and I love that cutout. That's really pretty. Beautiful. Gosh, it's so nice to get these things, guys. It really means a lot to me. Oh, I love how she's done that. Just flips over. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh, and look, she's done one of the little butterflies in the middle of the signature. How sweet. Absolutely love that. Oh, I love that stamp. Oh, <laughs> this is so pretty. Yeah, okay, well, I've got a use for this, definitely. Oh, I love that. That's that embossed page she sent me in a tiny tag in the little burlap pocket. Absolutely gorgeous. Journaling card, uh, well, index card that she's altered. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. Yes, this is going to go in my bag, Haley, um, because I have been needing something that I can carry around. Oh, I love that page. That's an old recipe or cook, you know, cookbook page, but it's so aged. I love that. So this will go in my bag, Haley, because um, I'm always out and I come, you know, think of ideas. Oh, this is one of the altered pockets that I did with the little um, windows in it. Love it. And I love that because nothing's going to catch on and I can have that in my pocketbook. And um, when I get ideas, I like to have something for, you know, when I'm out and about, sometimes I think of ideas that I want to do. And then she's got this muslin bag here. Oh, awesome. I don't have any of the raffia. Perfect. I needed that for sure. And look at this. Some tissue paper. I forgot what you call it. It's tissue crepe paper, I think. Look at that trim. Definitely an autumn nature journal. Perfect. And look at the, oh, I love those little dinky buttons. Oh, so sweet, Haley. Really, really sweet. And then she's also bundled up. Look at that sage burlap. That, I'm going to get a lot of use out of that, Haley. Thank you. Oh, it really, really spoiled me. Really spoiled me. Okay, let me check the time here, guys. And I've got this Happy Mail came in from Patricia. And this, let me pull out here. It's Patricia, I won't show you, but isn't that card beautiful that she made? Love it. And she wore it made, you know, she wrote me a really sweet note. So Patricia, thank you so much for, for taking the time to send this. I just couldn't believe it. And look at that. It was all wrapped up with this beautiful ribbon. And look at that tissue paper. Oh, I love that. And, I mean, I'm just like, oh my gosh, the tissue paper. I can t definitely make use on that. Look at that. That is a 
gorgeous stamp set. Love it. Oh, I'm going to, see, it's like fate. I'm, I must be destined to do a bee journal because it's, it's all happening. <laughs> and then look at these napkins. Just beautiful. Look, uh, this one just blew me away. Look at that. The bee houses. No. Bee houses, yeah. Bees, beehives, and bee culture. Oh my gosh, I love this napkin. That is going to make some beautiful, beautiful journal cards and tags. I, yes, bee journal is going to be coming up. Look at that one. I love it with the, the check around the side. That is just so pretty. Look at that. She sent me several of those. Oh, Patricia, thank you so much. Look at that. Watercolored. Beautiful colors. Beautiful. And then these have got to be old. Absolutely love those. Very delicate. You've spoiled me so much with all these napkins. Just beautiful. Okay, so I've definitely got to do <clears throat> a bee journal and then something like a lavender themed. So then look at this assortment of old book pages. And she's even told me what they were. Um, so this is just amazing. Arabic Dictionary, 1954. Gosh, you guys just put me to shame because you're so organized. I mean, I really need to get my act together because I would just stick them in and not even think about it, but that's really nice to do that. Um, so I thank you for that idea, Patricia. I must, I must get better about this. Look at this. This is an architecture and building book from 1901, and those pages are in such good condition. Beautiful, beautiful illustrations. You can't uh, have too many, um, I mean, well, I say that. I mean, I've got loads of book pages, but what I like, it's so nice to exchange with other people because we can't, I mean, you can only hold so many books in your house, and I think I've maxed out. But this is awesome because these are so different to what I've got. So I appreciate that, Patricia, so much. And look at this, some beautiful purple tulle. Love that. And this is gorgeous. It's got like, it looks to it reminds me of like snowflakes. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at those paper bags. Oh, Patricia, where did you get those? I've never seen any like this. So what is this? This is about a... Twelve and three-quarter inches by eight. But it's almost... Something between a paper and glassine. Oh my gosh, those are amazing. Love it. Oh, you know, there was a project recently. Um, I believe it was Liz the Papercraft. I believe it was her, and she did multiple paper bags. Am I, I, oh, I don't know if it was her or not, because I've seen a couple. Um, Charlotte Peterson did one, and I did one, a small. But this, I'm definitely thinking paper bag journal and use. Oh, love it. Oh, Patricia, thank you, thank you. And this um, tissue paper is going to be amazing for some tags. Tags and probably a journal cover, to be honest. There's, there's quite a lot there. Oh, it's a Beautiful, beautiful. You guys, thank you all so much. Um, I just still, every time I receive happy mail, I just can't believe that um, that someone has thought enough to send it to me. 
it still just surprises me so much, guys, and I appreciate each of you. Um, I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for your support, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much to all of you um, who join me here every time I post a video. I know it's not often, um, not as often as I would like, but, you know, it's just each of us are going through different things at different times, and right now is just a kind of a, a hectic time for me, so uh, bear with me because I, I do intend to try to get back to, you know, more frequent, but um, thank you guys so much. You've been wonderful to me through this whole journey, and uh, I can never put into words what it has meant for me. Um, when I wake up and I see that somebody's taken the time to leave a comment, it, it's just wonderful. Thank you guys. Stay safe, and I'll be back here soon. Bye.